proceeding further i will explain you the meaning of that negative sign over there okay the negative sign over there negative sign in this equation that is e is equal to minus of d5 by dt why this minus sign comes into the picture so first see the question is there should be a question you see what we studied we studied that if we have if we have a make a coil and if we have a magnet and if there is a relative motion between them there will be a production of emf and that means there will be a production of current if current is flowing there should be a question it is flowing in this direction or it is flowing in this direction i mean i mean it is flowing in clockwise direction or it is flowing in anti clockwise direction there should be a type of question once again just understand why this lens law comes into the picture the concept was see we already studied that if we have if we have coil and magnet if we have coil and magnet if we have coil and magnet if there is a relative motion 100% there will be a electromotive force okay that means there will be a flow of current the question is the current is flowing in this direction or it is moving in this direction it is moving clockwise or it is moving anti clockwise that should be the question so that part was explained by lenz law okay so see according to lenz law in simply uh, just understand the simple terms then we'll see the laws what are the actual laws the name of lens law lens was henrik frederick lens okay according to lens according to lens according to lens current opposes the cause producing it just remember this mantra he is opposing he is opposing the thing which is which is producing the current it is opposing the thing which is producing itself okay so what will current do current will oppose the cause producing it why see just understand there will be a flow of current in this circuit 100% see i am talking about this one there will be a flow of current okay the question it the current will be in this direction or this direction that was the question now see if this is moving like this and if it is moving like this current will flow in another color current will flow in in different orientation in different direction before going further i will explain that which orientation will be followed see for this orientation just understand the concept of this okay current can flow like this if current is flowing like this if current is flowing like this this means what this means there is a north pole north pole means current how current is flowing current is flowing anti clockwise if if it is flowing like this that means if we are able to see south pole that means current is flowing in clockwise direction okay i will give you the trick or hack to remember this thing just remember snapchat and 
North America. I repeat, just remember Snapchat and North America. See, if current is flowing in clockwise direction, it will produce a South Pole. And if current is flowing, is, is flowing, is flowing, is flowing in anti-clockwise direction, it will produce North Pole. Okay. If you understand these two things, you will just easily understand the lens law. See what is lens law? If you are approaching the lens law, if sorry, if you are approaching the magnet, if you are approaching the magnet, this north is coming, it will oppose it. This current will oppose this current, this magnet. For opposing, there should be what? There should be north pole only. So how that north pole? If there is a north pole, there will be a flow of current in which direction in anti clockwise direction once again yes once again once again i will just light this thing yes if magnet is approaching first case huh? if magnet is approaching if magnet is approaching north pole is coming into the picture is coming so here there will be north pole only so that north pole means current will be flowing in which direction current will be flowing in anti clockwise direction Okay, current will be flowing in anti-clockwise direction. Why? Because current opposes the cause producing it. Why it is producing? Because of change in flux. And the, why there is a change in flux? Because that magnet is approaching toward it. But it will oppose. Okay, it will oppose. Now, now, if we proceed away, if we proceed away the magnet, See, we we have uh, we have more power than the than uh, than the uh, repulsive power of that uh, that coil. So we will forcefully insert that magnet. Now what? Now if you take that magnet out, if you take that magnet out, sorry. Yes, if you take that magnet out. like this if you take the magnet out so what will happen see while going while going there will be a change in flux and that change in flux is responsible for production but what is the what is the purpose of current to oppose the cost producing it so what now it will do if by going it will oppose the go it will up, it will oppose that don't go so for not going, what it will do, it will make a south pole here. South pole means what? South pole means it will create, it will flow current in clockwise direction. Okay, it will create south, it will create, here there will be a south pole. South pole means there will be a clockwise flow of current. Once again, South Pole, South Pole means there will be clockwise flow of current. Okay. See, once I once more, uh, we'll study uh, the same thing here. Now what? See. See what happened. The thing is, when this magnet was produced, uh, was proceeding, proceeding, it will oppose. When it will oppose, this will create a north pole only. If there is a north pole, if there is a north pole, there will be there will be anti-clockwise flow of current. If it is proceeding away, if it is proceeding away, it will create south pole. If it will create a south pole, that means if it is creating, so when it will be go, when this magnet will try to go, when this magnet, when we move this magnet like this, so what will happen? It will not let this the north pole go. So what it will do? It will create a south pole. South pole creation means what? There will be a flow of current in clockwise direction. Okay. So what it do it opposes the cause which is responsible for producing it. I hope it is clear for you people. 
okay once again then we'll give you the main statement i hadn't give you the main statement just remember just remember the thing which i am telling you if there is a north pole if there is a north pole if there is a north pole current will flow in anti clockwise direction if there is a south pole current will flow in clockwise direction okay current will flow in clockwise direction and what hmm. if we are proceeding this magnet toward the coil there will be there will be a repulsive force why it will oppose the cause of producing it so it will produce negative north pole north pole means there will be a anti clockwise current if you are proceeding away from that coil then it will try to it will try to attract this thing why to oppose the change responsible for production so what it will do it will create a south pole south pole means okay so what is the main lens law lens law states that according to lens polarity polarity means direction according to lens law polarity of induced emf is such that it opposes the change in magnetic flux responsible for its production or induction i repeat once again i repeat once again just to see the screen i am highlighting the points i am highlighting the statement the thing is as per lenz law the electromotive force has polarity that generate current opposing the change of magnetic flux that causes its induction or production according to lenz law the polarity of induced emf is such that it opposes the change of magnetic flux responsible for its production okay so that was our lens law i hope it is clear to you how that polarity will be working okay yes now now what we have we have the conservation of energy in lens law why there will be a, why there sh, there is a conservation of energy see just imagine the concept uh, what was the main concept the main concept was the main concept was if we have a magnet if we have the magnet like this we have the magnet like this this is north pole this is south pole if this is proceeding here here there will there will be a creation of south pole you know we know that thing what if what if inverse would have happened inverse means in place of north pole there will in place of north pole there will be a creation of uh, in place of south pole there will there would be a creation of north pole then what would happen then what would happen just imagine we are giving 1 joule energy and this part is attracting it if it is attracting so it will convert this 1 joule of energy into thousands of and millions of joule which is practically not possible why it is against the nature because our nature states that energy can neither being created yes 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 your favorite one energy can neither being created nor being destroyed no but because of this see if we imagine the inverse thing inverse thing means if we are imagining that if this north if the south pole is will if this south pole will create north pole here so what will happen this north pole will attract the south pole and there will be a there will be a conversion of energy conversion of energy in high terms see this 1 joule will convert into 1000 joule that 1000 joule can can be anything it can be in the form of heat it can be in the form of sound 
it can be anything so what would have happened that can there, there will not be a conversion of energy but there will be a creation of energy huh? but nature doesn't want this thing so hence that's why nature decide that thing that if this south pole is coming we will repel that south pole by producing south pole if that south pole is going we will repel we will attract this by producing the opposite pole so that is what the energy conservation of lens law is okay if something else would have happened then it would create a problem okay so nature decided this property with magnet and that was explained by our lens law okay yes so till now we have completed the four topics faraday experiment in faraday experiment we have three things three experiments then we study about the magnetic flux what is flux phi into a sorry phi is equal to b into a then we studied about the faraday's law there were two faraday's law then we studied about the lens law and the conservation of energy now we are going to see motional emf okay we are now we are going to see the motional emf before that let's see some numerical based on that in uh, lens law the question from lens law on your screen is this yes the question is which of the following is found using lens law the options are options are a induced emf b induced current c direction of induced emf and d direction of alternating current which of the following is found using lens law what's the answer the question was what which of the following is found using lens law according to faraday's law yes we could be able to understand the induced emf but no nah, not induced emf induced emf no nah. induced current no direction yes the polarity that means the direction of induced emf okay this was explained by lens law so which of the following was found direction was found using lens law let's see the next one which of the following statement is valid and the options are lens law is a consequence and law of conservation of energy second one lens law is a consequence of law of conservation of momentum third one lens law is a consequence and law of conservation of force d lens law is consequence of law of conservation of mass energy momentum force mass anyone the right answer is lens law is a consequence of law of conservation of energy okay not momentum no force no mass 